Oh man guys, look at F- minus here, attacking at the speed of light in Anime Soul Simulator. What's up guys, F- minus here, so check it out right now, we gotta get a thousand likes guys. We almost got it in the last video, we got like what, 400, maybe 500 likes? You guys are so close, alright? And that's all I gotta say, there's a lot of stuff I can gift you, a lot of been, people have been asking for the spin and roll bundle, I mean we could try to make it work, you know, I do buy about 50k robux every time you guys hit 1k likes, so thank you if you you left a like and a comment we're continuing guys off of the update in update 6 bizarre town anime soul simulator guys f minus got like what four new codes for you guys maybe three codes and then on top of that we could check it out our progress that we've made so far we're actually about to kill the final muzan to make it to the jojo's bizarre adventure map you remember what i told you guys i promised i was like yo guys it's gonna be easy to get to jojo's map now even though we've already made it this far in the game f minus still has not you know made it on the leaderboards yet however our progress is pretty damn good and i actually have to switch my skill character over here so you guys can see f minus attack it looks like we're not uh hitting a uh, muzan but look at our damage we're doing about 9.91 sx and our ability does about 6 s so i want you right now in the comments let me know which map you guys have made it to in anime soul simulator because i don't know guys maybe once we hit the last map you know update 6 i'll try to farm a little bit more but with anime tales coming now you already know f is about to drop a whole entire series on that game so we've technically almost reached the end game in anime soul simulator once you make the new map all i gotta do is just continue to farm guys we'll get a better sword better rank we'll try to max that out get some better heroes and that's what i wanted to do for the video we're gonna check out our entire progress since we became paid to win in anime soul simulator now i don't have all the game passes yet i don't have more equips I don't have like most of the luck passes super lucky ultra lucky they're really expensive however despite that we got like the best or at least one of the best mythical skill characters in the game and if you are free to play you could have also gotten it as well I say it all the time because there is a pity system now and it's only like it says here mythical 500 spin so if you guys get 500 spin you could also get a mythical skill and whenever you guys you know try to attack the enemy skills are how you guys do the most damage and if you guys end up getting like a really good passive if you saw my last video like godspeed or maybe you guys get like energy three you get monster you get unique or something like that that's how you guys will progress super fast in anime soul simulator f minus did all of that even when i was free to play we made it really far all the way to chainsaw city so let me go help you guys out some more f minus has some new codes here i think the first one if you guys have not redeemed it maybe i would say most of you guys haven't is live spins so you guys redeem this i don't know if it gives you skill spins or if it gives you the passive reroll spins but that's the first code it gives you 15 spill or skill spins that's pretty good i mean there's no new skill characters in the game i do believe akanu or i think beerus or rimaru those are still the top tier ones but i mean you can save up for the next update when they do drop the mythical the next one after that is going to be live passive right so we redeem that we get 15 passive rolls that's actually pretty good because if you guys want to attack faster in the game so you get your skill off faster you eventually do more damage then you want to use the passive passive reroll machine located in chainsaw city just keep in mind you have to make it to chainsaw city most free to play players i've talked to they're around seven deadly sins most pay to win they're around chainsaw city or slayer village so you do have to get pretty far to take advantage of that code the next code after that though it's gonna be lie i'm not sure codigo redeem that though dang we got five of each potion plus we got some skill spins okay and by the way you guys can play the video back anytime if you missed any of the codes but this is it right here you can pause the video live mega codigo it's actually pretty damn good and i have the last code for you guys live codigo i'm guessing it gives something similar probably like two of each yeah two of each plus the passive rerolls nice plus we get the skill spins oh man we are absolutely killing it in anime soul simulator i'm actually in a public server right now i don't know if you guys noticed and i'm just trying to kill muzan i said we have one more left but we actually have a carry who's doing most of the damage now you know the technique if you want to progress in anime souls all you have to do is five percent damage to the enemies and i'll show you a little bit later a really good example i'm gonna do i already did five percent damage to muzan over here and i popped a souls potion i've been using energy 
Mana Pogs, Damage Potions. I've been farming so hard, guys. Look how many runes I have. I got like... Okay, I don't have that many runes. But I have a lot of orange. Those are what? The damage boost. And I have a lot of purple runes. 14. And we got a lot of yellow runes. But if you guys also want to progress, you're stuck in the best. And one of the best tips I have, besides getting a mythical skill character like Akin, Beerus, uh, I guess Goku if you still want to get him, is do 5% damage to the enemies. And then have somebody who's a higher level come finish it off for you. And that's what I've been doing for some of the players again in 7 Deadly Sin. They go around the map, they kill the enemies, or at least they do 5% damage, maybe 6%. And then they ask F-, minus. they're like, hey F-, minus, can you kill the enemy? And I go over there and I end the end process every 15 minutes. So if you guys need help in Anime Souls, you guys can join my server, get your enemy down to 5 per, or 95% HP or down 5% HP and then F- minus will end it and finish it off. And, <clears throat> and speaking of finishing off, we're about to finish off Muzan right now. Like I said, shout out to all the people that's uh, playing in this game. We got Muchi, we got Kaguya, Creeper, you guys seen these guys in our videos. And we also have a uh, Kaka Pippi man over here, 3. His name is like Myru Shard or something. You guys know that YouTuber. Um, Shout out to you. I really appreciate it. Uh, this guy is like killing it so fast. This is it guys. We're about to kill Muzan. This is it. Oh, I've been farming this for like six hours. There it is. And oh, <laughs> it looks like we actually didn't get the souls from that. Oh my gosh. So unfortunately, we didn't do enough damage. So that's all I'm saying. Make sure you guys do 5%. However, this next one, we're going to do 5% damage. So I'll come back to you guys. We do 5% damage. We're about to kill him again. Just make sure. All right. I know you probably uh, get the calculator out and stuff. I do that too. Um, Do like 5.1% damage. That's probably why we didn't get kill credit or whatever but i'll try it out again we'll see what happens all right here is round two guys we messed up on the first one but the biggest takeaway is make sure you guys do a little bit more than five percent damage to the enemy so the muzan over here he got like three oc left one of the top players in the game he about to pull up and then we're gonna start attacking muzan then when make it guys to the jojo's bizarre adventure map let's go check it out i'm sure there's a lot of heroes there where, you know we could try to get apparently some of the mythical heroes have like 2,500 energy. So if we make them shine, we make them Ill for the video. I think that would be perfect, guys. Because our current energy per click with a, I guess, like a 50% energy boost friend multiplier is about 13.26 QD. And if we can, let's also try to get another sword for the video. And maybe we could try to rank up. The one thing I want to do is definitely rank up. We'll lose all of our energy, but you guys should definitely rank up whenever you finish the quest line in the map because you don't actually need the energy anymore more and you can get a better energy multiplier when you do it usually it's about 5% more I know the swords give like 50% more but sometimes upgrading the sword it gets a little too difficult same thing with the auras because you guys need pink runes and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about whenever you make it to slime forest you guys can get a better aura it's kind of like swords and it's kind of like classes all this energy multipliers right here that you guys are seeing on the screen I'm getting like 13 QD that's how you guys do more damage so it does add up over time and that's how you guys will progress Progress in anime soul simulator the fastest maybe you guys don't have friends to help you out just join a public server like f minus and then just find some players that are i guess afk or maybe they're grinding maybe you guys can go in the official anime soul simulator discord server and then try to join a game there but usually they have requirements like energy requirements and they're gonna like ban you or kick you if you don't meet that requirement so it's a little tough that's why i said just join me through my roblox profile and then just make sure you're following my roblox profile you guys can join at any time all right guys we're calling in the uh airstrike we got the top player in the server i don't know how much energy he has we can actually take a look at it he has 72 sx energy look at the top right of the screen this guy's doing about 30 maybe 40 times more damage than f minus is doing so he's really powerful i would bet he could kill some of the enemies on the demon slayer map i'm sorry guys f minus lied to you there's no airstrike they said that it was better if we just go ahead and killed it ourselves that way we're 100 going to get credit for this because we only have to kill once again one more muzan then we can finally take advantage of update six so we're gonna get to i guess the uh, jojo's bizarre adventure map i don't know if there's any npcs there or anything like that but here it is muzan about to tap out we only gotta kill him i guess like we just gotta hit him a couple more times there it is we have pleaded the quest and on top of that we have 77 n souls you guys ready for this let's go ahead and claim it guys if you ever need help in anime souls by the time you're watching this video i promise you i will will be mega open. You see my friend over here, Meiru Shard? I probably have the same amount of energy as him or even more by the time you're watching this video. So just join my profile. F- will help you out. But we did complete the entire quest line. We can now go to the next map, guys. Woohoo! 
Ooh, let's go to the portal over here and let's go check out the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure map. And by the time I'm recording this video, it's been about maybe 20 hours since the update came out. So it hasn't even been a day. I usually record all my videos in a day. So this is actually pretty fast getting to the next map as pay to win. Now for free to play, um, there was one of my friends. His name is Raptor. He was still on the Demon Slayer map and he's on the leaderboards. So if you guys want to know like how good you guys are as free to play, if you guys have made it to Chainsaw City, you're one of the top free to play game if you guys have made it to slayer village uh you guys are probably on the leaderboards if you're free to play because that's where my number he's like number 30 or number 40 on the free to play leaderboards and he's on slayer village right now but yeah here's the uh heroes if you guys want to check it out looks like we got the joe stars we got a uh, looks like jotaro for the fives of percent we got dio we also have Jorno. what the we have Jorno for the point one percent and if you guys want to know who the secret is, I think it's Jolene. That's what I saw from the Discord server. And it looks like the price is 120 OC sold. So if we try to open up a couple right now, I guess, uh, let's see what the pricing is. We got 77, uh, I guess, N sold. So if we open up five, oh my god, that's really expensive. So I don't even, <laughs> I don't even think we're going to be able to uh, afford this, guys. We could try to pull at least one mythical, but I don't know if it's going to be worth it. It might just be better. Like I've said, one of the better methods, go down one or two maps spin for mythicals or legendaries and then make them elite shines and it looks like we got uzui over here he's a shiny mythical and that's probably what i'm gonna do fill up my entire inventory with elite shiny mythical uzui and then we'll have like a 5600 energy multiplier whatever i'm hitting right now i guess it's like 13 it's probably gonna go to like 30 and then after that we try to join a different server with more friends because the more friends you guys have in a server make sure you guys friend everybody by the way then you get a better energy boost you guys see my mouse cursor in the upper right hand corner it's like one point 5x that can go up all the way to i think 1.8 or 1.9x and it's really helpful and it says it right here added friends boost the more friends on the server the more the energy boost so if you guys want to progress faster join my games i'll send you a friend request and then we can both take advantage of that so like i was saying maybe by the time you guys are watching this video i might be you know getting around 100 qd energy per click maybe i'll be getting 500 it just really depends if i keep the gods passive because i attack really fast but there's more better passives in the game especially the mythical ones it's just this godspeed passive is the best when it comes to attacking the enemies because it fills up your skill bar a lot faster except for i think the uh, passive that one gives you like 3x damage that's probably even better some of these enemies are really tough though we got josuke over here yeah i don't know if we're gonna be able to kill that and going through the map over here man they got like different types they got like all the jojos in moriah i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but it's like a jojo at least it looks like jojo part four diamonds unbreakable but the boss is gonna be dio 250 oc but remember what i told you guys in the beginning of the video it's update six the next update is probably in what five days four days or something like that but anime tales comes out and we're both going to be playing it together guys make sure you guys farm that game i'm just saying we've already hit the end game now in anime soul simulator so let's try to take it uh, like one step further let's try to max out everything that we currently can so passive wise i let's just go ahead and check it out we're gonna go to chainsaw city i'm not gonna spin here for heroes we're gonna do that in demon slayer map and then maybe i'll have like a full team guys of elite shiny uh mythicals and stuff i'm telling you we can pop off in the neck by the next video here's the passives though are we gonna keep godspeed keep in mind i have not spent a single robux on passive rerolls because i just redeemed the codes if you guys redeem the codes um there was four of them i gave you in the beginning of the video and if you do that look at how many passive rerolls i have i have 60 now we can try to get monster we could try to get divine we could try to get and i think unique is the one that gives you like 3x damage 3x souls and then also gives you like 3x energy but in order to get that you have to have like 1000 rerolls the only one i might be able to get is the monster passive and the monster passive i'm not sure if that's going to be that much better than gods especially when it comes to killing any because once again that godspeed passive guys it fills up that skill bar really fast look at how fast i'm killing this dude the faster you attack the better that you guys are off now if we go to the titan district in the update they also added a quest where you guys can actually swim faster with your sword kind of like sword fighters it's the sword master here it's levi let's go check on that quest right now and let's see how far we've gotten i think i've already swung my sword like a hundred thousand times maybe a million times let's go check it out and see what he uh tell us i i guess it's glitched right now but you can actually see in your stats how many swings you've done so i've done three hundred thirty thousand. that means i think the first quest is what ten thousand then it goes like fifty thousand and then a hundred thousand i'm not sure but i have like 10 or 15 percent faster swing speed combined with god speed passive we actually attack really damn fast guys maybe one of the fastest 
past this. I mean, I'm trying to work my way to 1 million uh, swings. That way we get an extra 5%. Make sure you guys complete this quest. And the best way to complete it is probably Godspeed Passive. It's really not that difficult, especially if you redeem all the codes in the game. Plus, if the YouTuber codes still work, maybe I'll try it on, on like a noob to pro. Um, I'll do like another account or something like that. We'll try to redeem all the codes together. Next thing we're going to check out is Slime Forest. We're going to look at Auras. So let's go see. I know we can't, you know, upgrade like our pink runes and stuff because we don't have enough. But we can go to the Auras. We can see exactly what's the next 24 OC. Really cheap when it comes to souls. However, for pink runes, it's 18. How do you guys get runes? You got to do time trial every 30 minutes. And even if you do time trial, it's not a guarantee. You guys are going to be able to get runes. Somebody in the server said they got like 11 runes one time during a run. I don't doubt it. You can definitely get like 11 runes. However, chances are you're probably going to get zero pink runes when you do time trial. Maybe you'll get one or two, but that's like usually the average, like one or two or something like that. So upgrading your aura is really OP. It's just really difficult for the pink runes we can't even upgrade it in the first place i was just showing you guys currently we're at the rainbow aura that's something we definitely have to work on by the next video we also can go to uh planet namek over here let's go check out the swords so the sword that we're currently using you guys can you know inspect it over here i think that's zoro's sword actually i'm not sure it looks like it we got the beast katana it's 180 end souls we have 76 end souls right now and that took about six hours to farm uh just killing muzan so i'm just letting you know like you know getting the swords maybe right now we can't upgrade it but by the next video we definitely get the light katana and that's going to give us a 1.5x energy multiplier that's what i've been saying if you guys can upgrade your sword first that's always been like the standard method in progressing in sword fight or anime soul simulator you get the sword and then after that you increase your rank and then if you guys have made it far enough then you guys want to get a better aura and that's going to be in slime forest and then after that if you made it to chainsaw city get a better passive but we've already maxed out on the swords we're not gonna bother with that let's go to one piece village last thing i think is gonna be besides the vip and the group awards is the classes this is like the last thing you can upgrade at least for this video that we're gonna check out so the classes damn we over oh my gosh we have like way over in terms of souls we have 76 end souls on the left side how much does it cost here six n dude that's crazy and we can become ultimate slime and looking at it right now it looks like some of my friends like kaguya here he's already ultimate slime I will be getting the next class. However, right now, because we have so many souls, I want to go down one map. So I'm going to go back to Slayer Village. And what I want to do is I want to spin for as many Uzuis as I can. What are you talking about, F-? Look at my fighters, guys. They're pretty bad. <laughs> I'm using Makima Shine Mythics. For a pay to win, it could be way better. Now, for a free to play, this is probably the best of the best, guys. But I'm not free to play. I'm just saying that we can get more of these mythical Uzuis and we can try to make them elite. When we make a elite, 5,600 energy multiplier. And we do that for every single one of these. Once I do that, then we can go ahead and reset our class. Because the energy multiplier is just going to be that much better. And then I got to also use some energy potions. I currently have 30. We can actually craft some right now. Make sure you guys do time trial. I'm telling you, you want to progress and they can just do time trial. It's going to be hard because a lot of people, they hog time trial. They want to like solo it and stuff for the runes. So make sure you guys go in an empty space server or go in a server with like a low player account and then do time trial or go in a private server if your friends haven't do time trial in there so you can do it solo but look at it here we craft 24 energy potions i'm gonna do that right now guys this is the unlimited potion method in anime soul simulator what's the method f minus just do time trial but you have to make sure you do it on solo because a lot of the enemies whenever you kill them it's a one shot so you can't really share it with other high level players in the game because they're gonna end up killing it before you, and you're not gonna get in credit guys look at all these damage potions that f minus is crafting and this is only the course of six hours that i've been farming in time trial on these servers guys it's actually pretty good we have a lot of luck potions here the luck potions i usually exchange them for energy potion by the way the update log it says that they move the exchange merchant all the way to the demon slayer map change exchange or i guess from the demon slayer map to titan district it's not actually the titan district if you guys watch the update video it's in the hidden leaf village so you guys can find the exchange merchant in a uh, leaf village that's what f mines is gonna do but it's already maxed out so i can't i i, I you, there's like only 20 that you can do per day let me keep on crafting these luck potions and that's pretty much all the runes that i can do plus we have you know a couple of skills right here that we could try to do but i have so many skill spins guys now
Now let's take a look at our inventory. 54 energy potions, 22 soul potions, 37 damage potions, and 72 luck potions. You already know, by the next video, I'm going to use a lot of these luck potions. We're going to make a full team of Lazulis, and then eventually we're going to go all the way to Bizarre Town. We're going to start spinning for those units. It's just I don't do enough damage per click to kill the enemies fast enough in Bizarre Town. So we do have to restart our class. We do have to get more energy played. We got to get a better sword, guys. There's a lot of stuff that we got to do in this game. And actually, maybe we reset or get a better sword instead of... I don't know. What do you guys think? 108N. And then we have 76N souls. Maybe the sword because, I mean, that's 200K to 350K. But going from 76N souls to 18N, how long would that take? It might be better to just get better fight right now and then reset the class a little bit later but this is just my entire progress so far guys pay to win in uh, anime soul simulator about 20 hours after update 6 we've already made it to the end game f minus is prepared for anime tales now the quest line it's not available for jojo so no matter how many like i guess endings here that you kill even if you try to prepare for the next map it does count so if you guys kill five deals right now even though the next update hasn't released you still have to kill five deals whenever the update drops it's just try to farm as much energy as you can energy as you can if you guys are pay to win and if you guys are free to play i would say your goal until the next update is probably make it to slayer village if you're op if you're not op try to make it to slime forest all right that's like the bare minimum for free to play i guess by update seven you can definitely make it to slime forest i made it there fairly easily it took about one or two weeks but hopefully this video was entertaining enough for you guys like i said we're just showing our progress what f minus is doing i can carry you guys in time trial but i only can go to room 30 so people are asking can you get to room 40 f minus when not even like the leaderboard players have made it to room 40 i mean some have but that's like number one number two like the top of the top so hopefully f minus doing good enough for you guys hopefully this video was entertaining enough really appreciate though your guys's support and until next time guys i'll see you in the next video